let's have a little bit of fun with this thing. Let's go check out how to create a little bit of a kind of PowerPoint morph slideshow. So this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to create us this neat little slideshow using the morph transition. Yeah, it doesn't look all that impressive just yet, but kind of watch as I flip through here. It's a little slideshow using morph and big finish, right? So we're going to create this from scratch. I'll just make a couple of quick points here. First of all, you notice that a lot of movement there, right? Let's go to the animations pane and what you'll see, the beauty of morph, is that throughout this entire little deal, nary a animation to be had. That is why morph is so awesome. And why is that kind of awesome? Because, let's preview this one and just kind of pick it apart a little bit. To do this with regular animations in PowerPoint, well, I'd have me a fly-in to get this to move from this position to up here. Involves a complex motion path and a shrink and grow animation. And life is just way too short animation life is just way too short, you know, and it's just way too much work. Morph is one of those features that lets us do these awesome animations, but you got to kind of know a few concepts. So let's go ahead and dig this from scratch, and I'll introduce you to a few of those. And again, this will be a review of some of the other morph stuff that we've talked about. But here's what I find, that the more you kind of look at examples and try different things with morph, the easier it is to wrap your head around, because it does take a little bit of that, and the better you'll get at it. So let's change the layout on this to blank. Okay, and into this slide, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add me four images. And let's go pick our favorite subject here, Maggie the Wonder Dog. I selected four images using the control key. Press and hold the control key and let's just drag those guys in. All right, so now here we have four images and I'm going to click off. I'm going to do a control A to select all of these. And I'm going to resize holding the shift key and I want to get these to a size that is kind of something like this. Basically, I'm resizing them all at the same time because that's kind of important. This is going to be our main focus photo. And then, of course, in the trick, what we're going to do is kind of move them all all over the place to the side here. And while we have these selected, we can give a little extra pop by going to picture format and maybe add a drop shadow, right? So let's do this. This is basically one of the concepts is this is going to be a reference slide. So now that I've got this sized properly, let's zoom out just a little bit. And let's just kind of place these so we can get at them. One, two, three, four. Right, so there's all my pictures. This is a reference slide. You'll see why in a second. Let's right click and add us a new slide and that's going to be blank. And what we're going to do is we're going to go pick our first picture that we want. Let's click on it here and I'm going to right click and copy. Let's go to our first slide, paste it, and what I want to do is we're going to be using guidelines a lot here. So here, I'm in the center, and here's another trick. I'm in the middle, vertically. I'm going to hold my Shift key. We're going to drag this image off the slide. Okay, and then let's duplicate it. Let's click on our image again, hold the Shift key, and bring it back in. Holding the shift key makes sure that it moves in a straight line. If you've ever tried to just grab an image and move it along a straight line, you know it gets squirrely and stupid in a hurry. So on my second slide here, I'm going to put this where I want it. Boom, just like that. Now let's go to transition 
and let's add the morph transition to our second slide. And hopefully everyone can guess what will happen. Morph takes that which once was this image not on screen and makes it this image on screen in an animated fashion, doesn't it? Let's check it out. Uh, no image. Animation comes in. Awesome. So we like that. There's our first kind of starting point. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves up for the next scene. What's going to happen next? What do we need to have on this slide to do what we want to do on the subsequent slide? So let's go pick another image. In other words, our second image. Let's copy. Let's go here. Let's paste. Okay, let's line it up. So it is uh, on our image. Again, hold the shift key and let's move it off the screen. Okay, let's see. So now we're set up. Let's right click, duplicate the slide, and now we can make our changes. So let's see here. Or let's first bring in Again, holding the shift key, let's bring in our next image and put it in the same position as the previous one. Let's right click, send this to the back. Okay, and now let's take our previous image and let's make a change. Hold the shift key and make this guy smaller and position it over on our next position here, right? So this has the morph transition on it. And what we'll see is that our original image shrinks up and our new image came in from the side. All right, so following our logic, what do we need to do here to set up for our next slide? Well, Let's go to our reference slide. Let's grab our next image. Right click copy. Right click paste. Position it. Okay, that looks good. Hold the shift key. Bring it off screen. All right. So we're looking good to go there. Right click duplicate on our next slide hold the shift key bring in our object right click send it to back let's click on the top image hold the shift key bring it down slide it over get it into about the middle somewhere snap it to the edge and then again use the shift key to pop it make it the same size and let's preview alright and now let's grab our last image get set up for our final slide paste it and I just need to make sure that it's lined up in the proper vertical position so that's good Let's right click and duplicate the slide. Click our last picture, hold the shift key, bring it in. Right click, send to back. Click on the top image. Shift key, resize. And square it up. You notice that it also has the proper dimensions in between each of these slides. And now let's right click duplicate and we'll finish it up. You can highlight all three of these guys, hold the shift key and drag them off the slide. Click our final image, stick it up into the corner, hold the shift key and resize to full screen. There we go. Let's see what we got. Picture one. There's Maggie. There she is. 
Oh, there she is again. And it's just going to build, build, build. All kinds of beautiful animation there. Big finish. Boom. All right, so that's some kind of techniques and stuff there. I have this sample deck for you. You can go ahead and download, put that in the chat box for you. But what I highly suggest you do is, again, this is an exercise in wrapping one's head around the morph transition. So you can use my sample as a, you know, a guide if you want. And in fact, you could go in and replace these. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But I encourage you to try to do this as an exercise for yourself, right? Because it's, it's good for you. It's good for your morphing skills. Now that being said, what you could do is take my little template and as long as your images are widescreen, very important. Well, I mean not critically important, but you'd end up with size issues and stuff if you don't do this. As long as your images are widescreen format, you can right click, change picture. Let's use this one, Maggie, for our picture number one. Okay, and then here, of course, you need to change this to the same one. Insert. So f from this image here, I need to make this one the same also. You got to kind of you got to kind of work on stuff. There we go. <laughs> it's understanding what's going to happen and why that lets you kind of mess around with stuff. Right? Hope that was fun. I had fun. And if you had fun, be sure to click this next video and check out some more great PowerPoint content from my Screencast Coaching webinars.